Hello and welcome back for another aquatic adventure here at Newport Aquarium. Thank you all for joining us. And this week our aquatic adventures are especially special. This is Earth Week, guys. Earth Day is coming up on April 22nd and we'll have a video for you then. But this week we are dedicating all of our aquatic adventures to not only talk about the ecosystems that we've described before and some of the amazing species that we feature here at Newport Aquarium, but most importantly, I wanna to talk to you all about what I believe to be the most amazing biological process of all time. And as you can see, I'm standing here in a kelp forest. If you look close, we have kelp growing here. And the kelp forest ecosystem is a very, very highly productive and unique ecosystem that can be found throughout our oceans. They're found in cold waters that are nutrient rich. And the reason that I love Kelp, which is not a plant, it's a macroalgae, but plants and macroalgae are both called producers, which make up the base of our food webs. And producers do the most amazing and unique thing. They do something called photosynthesis. So check this out, guys. We talked about ecosystems before, and we talked about the abiotic factors that make up ecosystems, like water, like dissolved oxygen, and like the sun. So plants and producers, like this kelp behind me, actually convert the sun into sugars. So have you ever thought about like, my goodness, I wonder if a plant ever gets hungry? And of course they do, but they can't run down to a drive through and get some food. They actually use sunlight and CO2, they combine those in their chlorophyll and they create sugars and they let off oxygen. So they oxygenate the water that they live in and our land plants do the same exact thing. So this is an amazing and incredible biological process where you can take the sunlight, add CO2, and get sugar. And these kelp can actually grow up to 18 inches a day. So that's a lot of photosynthesis and a lot of sugars that they're producing that help them grow and grow and grow and grow. So when you have a chance, get outside, enjoy some of the sun, even though we can't photosynthesize, it's nice to get out and enjoy this beautiful weather that we're having throughout the month of April. So I look forward to talking to you guys again. And remember, celebrate Earth Day. We celebrate it every single day here at the aquarium. And we, join, we would like you all to join us in becoming conservationists, reducing our impact on the earth, and moving away from single-use plastics and living a sustainable lifestyle. Thank you all for tuning in on this very special week Earth Week and talking about the kelp forest and the amazing biological process that's called photosynthesis.